agreed he's agreed to come back on guys we got the u.s treasury on discord voice sorry for the the back and forth man i don't know if you're still watching the stream but like i really didn't want to start drilling you with questions and putting you in the spot and not putting you in a spot where you could have like comfortably said no thanks i don't want to do that or whatever you know no, it's uh, no problem, man. All right, cool. It's around 1 a.m. here, so I'm going to be wrapping up soon. Okay, okay. Hmm. Gives us a little clue. Oh, okay, so you're saying we you don't mind us asking you a couple questions, right? No, no go ahead. All right, cool. So what, what we've learned so far is that you you basically started off seeing extreme value, right, in the, the founders' editions that were only going for 5F. Um, I guess one of the biggest questions that we have is, like, where or maybe not where how do i question this correctly but like you obviously bought a lot of them so do you want to kind of talk about where how you were able to buy so many five ethereum items there were 10 um the generation zeros were going for five the regular ones from okay, uh, okay. TD clock the regular gen zeros were going for five ethereum and so you figured are, so are you saying you got in around the time where the founders were nine Ethereum, I think? Yeah. I, I thought I saw much. them. I, I remember seeing them. Wow, that's so funny you say that because I, I literally was going to buy one too. And you must have been the guy. No, real talk. I think you were the guy who probably snatched it out right before I was about to click the button. But again, okay, that's not true because I couldn't have clicked the button. I was still transferring money in. But how funny is that? You have to have been the guy. You're the guy who has it. But it was like uh, I don't remember the number, but it was it was a high number. It was like founder number seventy or something. Um, I started buying them. It was I think around like four o'clock here, so it was one o'clock your time. Yes. And um, yeah, I transferred it, it, enough money to buy forty two, and in the process, two got swiped up as I was buying it. Ah oh, damn! Wow. So you went after forty two founders, on day one like you were just sure like this is it this is the one this is what i'm going for it's crazy yeah as soon as uh the number one <clears throat> got sold and there was a lot of news about it actually i was gonna do it the day before when there was 77 available and oh my god i figured it was just a little bit too much risk um and then the next day maybe within like 14 to 16 hours uh like 30 of them got sold so i figured let me just take a shot okay okay i like it it makes sense Jesus, everyone's freaking out right now. Uh, we got a question here. It says, um, "I don't want to. I don't want to ruin one of our questions, but they were mentioning somebody called Will Kitty. I don't know. We can talk about it if you know him or not later on. Um, let's see. What else could we ask? So, what is, what is your? You kind of mentioned something about the Asian market possibly getting involved later on. So, do you have any kind of information, or like, have you? learned or have some type of clue that when the asian market kind of jumps in are you saying they're already involved or are you trying to buy in before this kind of hits over there i started seeing activity on the fourth and the fifth uh mm -hmm. from the asian market like people that were either buying from me had um asian names or oh. uh, people on on discord the um i think it was the chinese market Mm -hmm. start to become more active but yeah typically the ones that i sell for a higher amount are usually overnight so i figure if i'm on the east coast and it's, it's being sold at uh like 11 o'clock or one in the morning two in the morning it must be on the other side of the world that's true you're kind of just putting the pieces together and figuring out like this is an interesting time zone you know and then you're just kind of speculating that it's coming from that side of the world Okay, I get I get where you're going with that. Cool, cool. So, would you consider like do you have a really strong feeling like this is going to be a long-term thing or would you say you're trying to get in real early and play it safe and, and you might be like exiting soon? I don't know if you want to talk about that. I think with the way that it is right now, it's a good time to kind of mess around with the prices um mm. because especially today people are starting to dump because they think that 
new games are going to spawn off of this, but this game is going to have a first mover advantage like Bitcoin did. So even though something like, let's say, Ethereum could be considered a lot better than Bitcoin, it's only a fraction of the price because Bitcoin is the recognizable name, you know? Yeah. So with the um, the amount of press releases that came out in the last couple of days around this, I don't think anything is going to gain that much traction in at least three to six months, maybe a year. De- definitely by that time, they're going to have the network stuff figured out. So who's ever dumping now is probably not the best time. And mm. uh, they should stick around until at the very least January, February. Wow. All right. So you're, you're kind of prepared for a solid two months of being able to, of getting in early right now. That's interesting. Some people were estimating this might like, if you were to follow Pokemon goes hype cycle, I I wouldn't call it a hype cycle, but I feel like it fizzed out almost about one month in and you're, you're estimating this is just your personal opinion that come January, January, February, maximum value is basically going to start leaving and people are going to start jumping off to other games. That's cool. Some people are saying this might even just last a week or two. And then, I don't know, but they didn't really have any explanations on why they thought that. They were just saying that. Um, to answer the Pokemon Go question, it's like comparing apples to oranges. You had a, mm. a game that was free mm-hmm. um, that anyone could play, and it had a lot of media hype, but then it kind of turned into a pay-to-play game. And even then, you still couldn't make any money off of it. This is the complete opposite, where it's pay-to-play from the very beginning, yeah. and people can actually use this instead of day trading, <clears throat> because I'm, I'm sure the people that have started trading um, in the oh, last yeah. couple of days even are making more money with this than they are with conventional crypto trading. I know I am. I'm not really a great day trader whatsoever, but I've taken my shots and I've, I've failed miserably. <laughs> I'm not a trader. I'm a holder personally, but, um, <laughs> like, I don't know if you were, I'm I mean, sure I'm, you were listening I'm earlier, but uh, a more long term, I usually scale into positions and I scale out and, you know, the course of three to six months, my last one was, um, I held Monero for 11 months. Nice. So I got in around $25, I think it was. Oh, you recently got out of Monero. How, do you mind if I ask how long you've been involved in like Bitcoin? Uh, not Bitcoin, but Ethereum. Ethereum. Mainly. Okay. So it's been, it's been actually exactly two years. I, I bought my first one, um, January 1st of 2016. Was that, I mean, was that what around, I'm, I'm drawing a blank again on when the, Genesis block was Ethereum created for price Ethereum. Was around, it was around a dollar. I actually yeah. saw it when it yeah, was around is. 80 cents in October of the previous year. Yeah, I was and, accumulating um, back then. That's smart, dude. I'm, I'm kind of happy to hear that you're you're very involved in Ethereum. I'm, I'm not so much involved with Bitcoin anymore, but I, I was a buyer back in 2013. But, um, which is really interesting to me to hear because I, I thought... Now, so I'm just kind of trying to gauge, like, how, did you come into this from a different field or are you in the crypto scene? You know what I mean? No, I've, I've always been kind of self-employed, just doing my own mm-hmm. thing, um, like eBay business, Amazon business, nice, uh, a little nice. bit of web development and that kind of stuff. And um, I guess you kind of just the right place, right time. Yeah, scenario. dude, you're doing extremely well, obviously ridiculously well yeah, i can't complain cool 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 uh let me do, let me just do a quick check with the chat um if we can get any more interesting questions from chat can you tell no 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 <laughs> are you worried about taxes when buying kitties <laughs> that's a funny question but it's actually pretty relevant um uh no it's gonna be a a light conversion essentially so whatever amount of Ethereum you put into it, whatever you get out of it, that's not a taxable event. And then once you end up selling, that's capital gains, assuming you actually bought your Ethereum and can prove it rather than mining uh, it or that's if you gifted Ethereum. Very true, very true. 
Um, also, uh, muddled. I <clears> believe <throat> on Discord at one point he was saying that he was gonna try to 1031 exchange his cryptos into his 401k or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember um, that. I talked to a couple of tax attorneys and they said that that's not really possible because it's not a an actual like conversion. So you can go yeah. from property to property. You can go from uh, stocks to bonds, let's say, but you can't go from crypto to property or from crypto to stocks, unfortunately. Nice, nice, nice. Well, we'll talk to Huddle about that. I don't, and Huddle, you're you're more than welcome to come in on here because Huddle, I've had a, a talk with him as well too, and you guys are pretty, really intelligent sounding people, and it'd be nice if he could jump in as well too, because I feel like I'm a little worried. I'm not going to ask the right questions that a lot of us are like really desperate to ask, and I'm going to regret when I get off the phone with you. But um, you can try to pull him in. I'm just on my phone right now, so I can't. Uh, I know, I, and then I didn't want to overwelcome our stay. And I know you mentioned, kind of hinted that's really late where you're from. So let me, let me see if I can make this really quick. Uh, huddle, do you got? Do you want to step in, man? <laughs> it's like huddle. Hello. There's no way he's gone. Muddle, not huddle. I just butchered my boy's name. He's been here since day one too. I think he was one of my first viewers, which which makes this so interesting, you know. I have a personal question that I saw was asked and it would, I really would love to know because, you know, I'm somewhat treating this as an, a great opportunity to make some money. So I need to know, like, what's your take on early? So I know obviously you believe in this because you bought the founders, but how far down the line in generations do you think are still going to be valuable to keep? So like I'm talking about generation ones, twos through tens. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it says I need to send an invite to, to model. Um, and also the serial number, do you think those are going to play a role at all? Like I personally bought, I spent most of my bankroll just buying this Gen Zero because it was a four digit serial number. And I don't see anybody like giving a care about what that number is. I see a, a Generation Zero, exact same traits, number 50,000 going for as much as a 2,000. I was like, oh bad decision there yeah i don't think past 100 or um 103 i think because there was three of the bug kitties i don't think past that the numbers really matter too much maybe the 100,000 and, and the 1 million is going to matter but besides that mm. i don't i don't really put too much weight on it giant, i would like stick the giant with milestones. Uh, generation zeros and if you could ever get your hands on a founder's cad because those once they're gone they're mm. gone but in terms mm. of generation ones going How? onwards People How can always complete them because if uh, generation zeros become catatonic, even you can breed right, them after right, right. a week. So if you have, you know, fifty generation zeros, you can always make gen ones. If only we knew somebody who had generation zeros. Hmm. <laughs> that is a great comment. That's a great. Comment. No, I'm just kidding. Um, again, we're trying. You want for half price? <laughs> yeah, let me just take out like ten mortgages. Oh my God. I, I mean, technically, anyways, I know you're joking. Um, I'm trying to get muddle. He no, said, I, you're more I mean, than welcome. I don't mind selling you one for 90 or 100 ETH. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Well, um, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can join the call with muddle. Hold on one second. Uh, muddle, are you there? Yeah. Hopefully you can get a uh, crypto vector in here. Uh, it dropped the call. Uh, sorry, sorry, guys. Can you invite him again? Oh, wait. I think we can do that. Yeah, let's find a way. You you have his contact info, so... I think this I should... my friend, though. One second. One second. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Man buys $50,000 cat live on stream. Goes viral. Holy shit, dude. He's, he's offering me one of the cats for 50 k But... Ah, my mind's racing right now. I can't even think straight. But if I don't have that money, I just don't think that that. Uh, hmm, we'll talk later. Years, man. What's up, guys? So we got we got model in here. There we go. I think we got everyone. Hey. Okay. Uh, that definitely took some effort. I'm glad. I'm glad we got it though. All right. Perfect. 
I'm I'm not I'm not sure what to ask the crypto vector, but I want to <laughs> thank you for buying uh, 18 and 19, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, no problem. It was a good investment. Yeah, and uh, nice job. Uh, nice job selling 18. Uh, do you have any info on that actual the buyer of 18? I saw he bred it, so he didn't know anything about the game, but. No idea. Um, it happened maybe about two hours ago, and it was the top selling or the top uh, valued kitty in terms of ether. So yeah, I saw that. Cool. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh man, that's that's pretty impressive. Oh my goodness. I mean, we got. A, I do have a ton of questions, but they're all basically like strategy related questions and. Well, Crypto Vector is going to have his own strategy, and, and I'm going to have my own strategy. Right. My my strategy has always been to have fun, and I, I think you can see that with the cats yeah. I've got now in my inventory. Crypto Vector's strategy appears to be, uh, looks like he wants to hold for a few months and, and make as much money as possible. So, I mean, both solid strategies, to be honest, depending mm -hmm. on what your definition of doing well is. That's true. That's true. All right. I think well, also creating a lot of movement in, in the market will get more media attention and get more people on board with this, which eventually in the long term is going to help out Ethereum, even though now it's kind of um, the network's suffering a little bit. But that's going to kind of create a catalyst for uh, people to get a move on the sharding and the plasma and all the other features that they're trying to implement next year. Yeah, I'm really excited about some of those new features that are going to speed up the network. I mean, we've shown that like uh, digital contracts and properties are, are definitely a, a possible thing now. So, I mean, I, I don't see anything but this going up just from a from a media and a, a utility perspective. All right. Well, yeah, people have spent more money on dumber things. So, yeah, <laughs> in, in virtual cats for sure. No, I think what he said though is it makes a really good point that where just just his actions alone on buying all the founders is stirring up so much talk about it too. So even you know once this type of stuff hits, um, you know a major news outlet or whatever, they're gonna mention things like there's even a, a guy buying up, um, blah 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 amount of cats. Like it's just it's really helping the game go viral, and in turn it's helping us make some. Some really big money early on. So I, I noticed though, um, looks like some of the prices of the founders went down. I see 43 is listed for 120, um, 39 is listed for 149, 46 and 47 are listed for 125 respectively, and all those are fast, uh, fast Gen Zero founders. So any any comment on that crypto vector? You think uh, you think the market might be correcting a bit, or uh, what? What are your thoughts? I'll be right back, guys. No, I think that just people that got in at 10 or 20 or 30 ether and they just want to lock in profits but people are, are going to buy those out because those don't last i was um last night i was trying to buy two of them and one was going for i think 143 and one was going for 130 and i was able to buy the 143 but someone scooped up the 130 within oh, that. okay maybe 10 minutes so are you thinking of buying that number 43 because it's only 120 ethereum I think um, I'm okay for right now with what I have, and I just want to sell off a little bit and then maybe get, get back into buying afterwards. Okay. Um, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, actually, when I bought, I bought all of them at 10 ETH each. So at first I started selling them at 25 and I saw 35 that. and 50 ETH. And um, actually some of the same people that bought for me sold back to me at double the price. And I didn't mind it because that just means that it's it's just creating more of a of a buzz and it's actually raising the what the floor would be for founder kit founder kitties so now you're looking at it as 120 being cheap whereas five days ago no one would even touch one that was 70 or 80 yeah it's definitely true definitely true um but i i'm i'm, I'm relieved to see though that the but the prices have been holding. It's, it makes things definitely really interesting for the rest of the market, aside from the founders. Uh, do you are you in the market besides any of the founders? Are you uh, like uh, investing in like just like the base Gen Zeros, uh, low numbers besides the founders, or anything like that? I was messing around with um, 
Gen Zeros and Gen Ones and, and breeding them. And um, I have a couple of different accounts. I was kind of just doing it more for fun. And like one account, I would start off with one Ether and one account, I would start off with 10 Ether and then just see how much in a day or in a couple of days I can make. And so far, every day, it's been double, triple, quadruple uh, without any issues. So I just say focus on, on getting the lowest gen possible, breed them, and don't sell too cheap. Yeah, that's fair. That's definitely fair. All right. Uh, um, the U.S. Treasury. I'm going to actually talk a little bit more with you offline. Uh, more of a personal thing. But um, yeah. I'm more than welcome to keep streaming these uh, these questions if you guys want to keep going. Didn't mean to interrupt. I just want to make sure I put that in. Oh, Angry God has a question. He says, hold, sell, or sire Gen Zeros. I think... Uh... My, I think my opinion, and I, I can guess, I can guess the U.S. Treasury's opinion. My, my opinion was, I guess, to, to either hold or sell, sell, but not actually sire them. I don't see much value in siring them. Yeah, if you can get a cheap sire, that would only be beneficial if you had, let's say, like a fancy, and then you were siring with another fancy instead of buying one. But um, honestly, I'm just with the investor mentality. I'm just more interested in, in, in buying and holding them. So if you can get a, a Gen Zero fast for, I don't know, three Ether or two and a half Ether, you're better off mm. holding it until they fix the network issues and then sell it when it's double or triple the price. Well, I'm definitely going to be working on that. Just got to... Bitcoin Louie's about to invest everything, man. Get ready, everyone. He's, he's pull, <laughs> pulling all the Ethereum. <laughs> Listen, I uh, this this is just yeah this this is blowing my mind, and I obviously need to re like evaluate what I need to do here. But um, your original offer, I don't know if you were joking or not on stream. I have the funds for. I just I I just have to think this through. But I think this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and whatnot. So that's why I'd like to continue talking uh, later if you don't mind. And not today. I know you got to go to bed and whatnot, but I just feel like I got into this to, to, to get in on these like really, really, really rare opportunities. And I almost felt like I chickened out for a second, but, um, it is a, a big investment. It's well above my comfort zone, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Louis, this is an investment in, in crypto cats. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I, I gotta tell you, man, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. Be careful, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, well, you you've heard from you've heard from two of us, guy. You've heard from two of us. It's like angels and demons, I guess, on your shoulder, man. But I know, right? <laughs> I know, I know. All right, we'll yeah. see. I guess on 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 one side, on one side of the argument, you're paying a lot of money for something that doesn't exist essentially except on the blockchain and mm -hmm. and only uh, a handful of people know about it or or can afford something like this but then on the other side it's it's um to me this this isn't any different than speculating on stocks or right. gold or ether bitcoin whatever it may be because it's not like you ever get to hold the gold or it's not like you're ever a, an actual um board member of a of a company that you're trading the stock with so at the end of the day, it's all just numbers. And like Muddled Cat, yesterday I bought for 154, and today I sold for 254. So there's definitely a lot of demand for this still, even as all these <clears throat> issues are happening. So it's just just a matter of risk reward. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I need to measure the risk reward right now, but it's just it's just funny because one of the things I've been basically. Um, trying to promote on my stream was my uh, bankroll management. And there was this one situation that I brought up and this is so scary that this is kind of almost happening right now. And that's that uh, if you were given an opportunity for like a hundred million dollar bet and you were told 99% of the time you're going to get it. But if you don't, you owe that money, would you take it? And I straight out said no, like on stream too. And I feel like you're giving me that opportunity right now. 
what's the opportunity you've been providing? Freaking me out. Comfortable with talking about that. Well, I don't know if you want to clarify, Treasury, like how serious you were, or if you want to kind of reevaluate what what the offer was, or if or if you don't want to talk about it, could you? Do you want to speak about that right now? Um. Well, I'll give you an offer for KD number ninety eight, the last one, and um, I'll give that to you for. Right now, it's going for one eighty five. So, um, ninety five ether. Ooh, I do that. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that deal. Ninety five <laughs> ether, gonna, dude. He's gonna take the deal. <laughs> Oh my god! That's... Well, I'm just doing this to help out Lou. Because I know, I man. With, uh, Holy shit! He was, he was shit. looking at them when they were 25 ETH a couple of days ago, when I made him 25 ETH. Yeah, it's just, I, and he, I thought he was just saying that to be funny because I was mentioning I was about to click on that buy, and then it got bought by him. <clears throat> oh man! I, I, and I really appreciate that you would even give me that offer dude and that's why i, I don't want to say yes or no right now especially not on stream even though that'd be the most amazing thing to probably record is this going down but i gotta think about it obviously man buys forty three thousand dollar cap on stream yeah mm -hmm. i could think that'd be pretty pretty memorable it's just well just keep in mind hundred percent of my ass it's gonna be um one of the later gen kitties for half the price of whatever they're at so if <laughs> you decide to buy it a week from now and they're 300 then the offer is at 150 so dude, dude that's that's really nice of you to, to give louis that offer man that's that's super awesome <laughs> people are quoting this as the biggest 50k donation ever if he takes the offer <laughs> yeah that'd be a big <laughs> big donation for you louis Oh, dude, I'm sick to my stomach right now. Because you can just flip that for uh, for double, I, I would assume. <clears throat> I use the term flip very loosely. Yeah, like the thing that he also stated too is it's it's the latest gen possible. I mean, it might be unique because there's some eyes kind of coming on this right now. Um, wow. Are you fine if I if I think about it? Are you gonna put me on the spot on my own stream? Be like, nah, dude, you got to make that decision right <laughs> now, know. right here, right now. It's time to play the final countdown music. Holy crap! I'll give you a week. How about that? Oh, uh, that's amazing that you even did that. I appreciate that. Well, then a week too. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll find out a lot. Are you gonna keep to that price in a week, or are you, are you gonna? It's it's gonna be whatever. Um... <clears throat> half of the actual price oh, okay. that i have listed for half of what it's but I'm, going I'm not for. gonna hike it up to 500 ethereum right now, I think so <laughs> I think it's, i'm probably gonna right. if it doesn't sell i'm gonna realist it probably like around 225 maybe 200 to 225. <laughs> someone said so take that cat and, and, and breed it with a generation 11 bird oh my god all right man so we will talk about it for sure i'll have an answer with you by a week I Let me know what you decide on that, Louie. Man, that's that's a big deal. Yeah, we're definitely going to evaluate that this decision big time. All right. Well, no, I'm not going to do that on stream, guys. I cannot. I'm not going to make a decision, a decision like that right here, right now, especially after everything I've ever said about this type of scenarios. Worst case. Hey, Louie, just... you said you weren't going to do this, man. Just FYI, you said you were not going to do this. You weren't going to put this much money at risk. Right, um, right, right. But here's the thing. I, I think if you don't do this, you're going to wonder what could have been if it goes up. But right. if it was my money personally, I would not do it. That's just me. That's I your think personal thing. If I wanted to protect you, I'd say, hey, I know you're going to hate yourself for the rest of your life if you don't do it. Yeah. And maybe you make like $40,000. But what happens if you lose $40,000? Like, yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. It's, it, that's so, all my Ethereum. At the end of the day, if it's if it's a lot of money for you or if it's going to keep you up at night, I wouldn't suggest doing it either. I got you. I got you. Cool. Okay. It's just, um, I'm I know, assuming I... you've, you've been in the markets long enough to have these ups mm -hmm. and downs, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, if, you're, I, if you're conditioned mm. to that kind of risk, then yeah, you just have to ask yourself if the risk of war is worth it. Like some people, they'll, um, you know, they'll lose sleep over 
it's, it's if something falls 10 percent, 5 percent i get exactly but, what you're saying and like i I'm, I'm coming this is coming from a guy whose um income is is still like five digits right a year and i've i've had my bitcoin and i have my ethereum shoot up multiple figures and i don't only sleep at night just because i know that te- the technology's there and i'm a holder you know forever and this is straight up gambling like this is straight up gambling and it's such a rush so anyways but i see the profit you know i see the profit potential and it's like i'm missing out on a lot of money if i don't but anyways i just i just kind of wanted to take that out there you know like i i I am a holder and i've been through this kind of stuff so that is going to come into my decision making and we'll we'll see what happens yeah does anybody else have any questions I just want to thank U.S. Treasury, man. Thanks for the trades. Uh, definitely thanks for giving Louie that awesome deal and that opportunity, man. That's, that's really mm-hmm. big of you. And I'm sure everybody in the community really appreciates the involvement that you've had. That's mm-hmm. awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for uh, trolling the stream. Thanks for holding $2 million of cats for us because <laughs> not all of us can afford that. <laughs> Took one for the team, bro. Thank you for that. No problem, man. Take care. Have a good all night. Right. Have a good night, guys. See you later. Holy. This isn't real life. This is not real life. I feel like I'm being tested right now, dude. My stomach and my heart right now is like beating out of my chest, dude. This treasury dude is a legend. This guy's going to go down in history. And I just had him on my stream. And we just got to like have a legit one-on-one, dude.